right, wasting some time back with a uh, part three of our Warhammer Dwarf campaign playthrough. And the last time we uh, left our Grim. Aye. Aye. I'm here. Grum Brindle. He uh, had conquered Iron Rock. Uh, we're replenishing from that uh, assault. Now, Black Crag would be the uh, definitely the next place to go to. Um, we then need to build up this area just a little bit so we can get uh, basically just get these upgraded because the AI has this. I'm ready. Here, has this really annoying habit. If you don't have walls on a settlement, they know exactly where your forces are. There's no fog of war for the AI in this game. It's who I'm playing against, so um, obviously the computer will cheat as much as it can, as computers tend to do. Um, so we definitely don't want to leave any place uh, completely undefended without walls like this. Crag, crag drawn, it's fairly open and vulnerable, but our other places have walls on them, so we're not worrying about it. I do need to get this place upgraded. Definitely get that uh, hunting camp up and cooking. I'm just going to hang out at uh, Iron Rock for the meantime um, and try to get uh, these two settlements built up a bit and make some money. I probably will send uh, this force on a this quest mission up over here in a few turns, though. Let's uh, crank out some turns and try to get some money. It will cost 5,000 credits. Hello, of the dwarfs. Um, and also, Military Alliance, I do want to try to, uh, especially with the Barrack Var, I want to confederate with them, uh, or Zufenbar, and you see our, our three dwarf friends over here. Uh, it would be really good to confederate with these guys. I think they have a really good opinion of us at the moment. Let's... Can we check and see? There he is. There it is. Yeah, so very friendly. Uh, yeah. I mean, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. Not a lot of aversion. Uh, so that is nice. We will accept this military alliance. And we're going to coordinate with them. And we're going to try to... Uh, hmm. I would like to tell them to go deeper into... Uh, the green, Greenskin Territory. Actually, there's another dwarf down here. And we're improving relations. Uh, improving with them, too. These guys are uh, deteriorating. Ah, they're way over there. Doesn't matter. Um, but I do want them to kind of distract the, uh, the Greenskins. So I can maybe take Black Crab. While we're not confederated. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Didn't mean to take up in... Uh, Everyone's a uh, eater hole there. Let's go and see what we can make it uh, at our fancy place. We could build this place, but I can build that. Uh, really, I would build a ranger barracks at Mount Squighorn uh, because I can get rid of the uh, the growth once uh, all these settlements are full size. I don't need the growth there anymore. So let's go ahead and bust out some turns. And the technology, I am going to go for the uh, improved diploma. Improved. Wow. I've been talking way too much today. It's starting to affect me. We have a wog. Wog. Not great. Ally mobilizes against settlement. Very nice. Our ally is going after that. And the wog is down here. So that's pretty far away. Uh, these guys have a decent force uh, down south, and I will obviously try to help protect their, their uh, settlements up here. But anyways, technology-wise, I am going to go for the uh, improved diplomacy, uh, so I can confederate with as many dwarves as I can. Want to go for that rapid expansion? That is uh, the best way to do it. Is to uh, just completely assimilate uh, other folks. We have our toolmaker skill for increased monies. Yes, thank you, please. Uh, we're going to build our iron mines here, and we're going to also build our first uh, watch room. Just give us a bit bigger uh, garrison right there. Also, Cragtron is ready to upgrade. 
So I had to, <laughs> I tried to make a video or uh, Warhammer um, Monday. It did not go well. Uh, mainly uh, just stuff uh, going on in my house. The baby was uh, set for whatever reason that night. I don't know. I guess it's the thing babies do. Uh, they just kind of get a bit uh, moody sometimes and they want to cry about stuff. But you know, hey, that's, uh, you know, you're five weeks old. You can kind of do whatever you want, right? And we are going to go Dwarfen Diplomats and Dwarfen Emissaries. Get those two done in seven turns. I kind of want to go after Black Crag right now. Um, especially since she is upgrading that watch room. That's not not great. I know that's me upgrading that. I am so silly sometimes. I clicked on this and I saw my other settlements and I thought they were doing that. I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> uh, confuse myself sometimes. Got that going for me. Population surplus in Blood River Valley. Let's go look. There it is. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this upgraded. Fully upgraded, we will be able to get uh, a tannery going and something else. We could add a toolmaker to this to get a bit more money out of it. Um, not too interested. We could build a ranger's barracks so we could get uh, recruit units globally from there or locally, obviously, too. I think that may be a good you know these uh, these guys are not advanced units but they are uh, you know vanguard fast for a dwarf <laughs> what's their speed speed is 34 that's not bad let's uh, the other guy's speed is 28 uh, so I mean 34 is like a, a regular uh, kind of like heavy infantry for other folks but that's fast for a dwarf we may get that there uh, kind of depends on what our money situation looks like I'm trying to spin it as we make it. We do need to wait until this gets population surplus. Let's bust through a few more turns, get this guy upgraded. Um, we are going to get... No, no. Growth in local province. That's nice. We are going to get this forge fire, though. I do want to get the, all the active uh, active stuff. Yep. All right. Lynchpin. Good job. All right. Let's get some more turns here done with the game I do want to move off of Iron Rock and go attack uh, Black Crag I really do um, three turns into a population surplus I think I will wait uh, until I can get this upgraded and get my walls on this uh, city just so if if I have walls on a settlement I can generally stop one stack of uh, of an enemy. Um, two stacks, you can just cause a lot of damage, but you probably will lose that fight, but uh, also having the, uh, the walls on the city does give you some time to reinforce. There we go, working on Dwarf and Inniseries. Gained a trick on that gentleman. Hey, public order, happy populace. <laughs> the drunk dwarfs, I think. <clears throat> it's good stuff. And we gotta get a this is our general that's in our uh, capital, so probably get I think the uh, the pure beard because we are going to have a lot of chaos corruption uh, after the, uh, the spoiler chaos uh, starts to invade. I think anybody's too surprised there. Definitely not worth getting anything besides uh, one of these top tier buildings here. Iron breakers are nice. Hammers are okay. Thanes, I do like the iron breakers. So, iron breakers are good. Uh, good soldiers. Let's go and get some more turns in. <clears throat> All right, fourteen thousand. Um, we're gonna take this army here, Iron Rock. Population surplus next turn. So we are going to. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I need to go to my quest battles. Objectives. Let's go to 
objectives. All right. Uh, nope. Where are my quest battles? It's been a while since I've looked at my quest battles. Uh, Graduation quest. There you go. Goodness. All right. <coughs> teleport. Select the Lord in order to teleport them. Okay. So. The dwarfs need me. And ambush. Falls. I can't. Uh, There is a way to teleport. How do you do it? One drag. Dang it! Damn it, Bobby! Our enemies shall tremble. Do I have to go into here? Details. The required character is currently garrisoning, garrisoning. Hey. Okay, so he's in the garrison. I can't do it. Now, so. Step out of there, bro. And now we can teleport for 500. Not bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, get this battle a rocking. We are gonna fight the battle. And the uh, unstoppable, inevitable loading screens. <laughs> Knobnails Backbiter. That does not sound like a friendly person that you want to be around. I am actually going to uh, pause the recording real quick. I need to go do a thing. And when we come back, I will uh, have this battle loaded. All right, well, we're back. The battle is loaded, and we are going to uh, arrange our guys. I have played that. This is a quest battle, um, and obviously we're about to get uh, ambushioed. Um, so we're going to select all of these dwarf warriors. I'm going to line them up here down the middle, get nice and wide. We need to be wide for this, uh, this quest battle. Actually, we get all... No, we don't have any Work with me. There we go. We want to be all the way across the, uh, the field here. Get our quarrelers. Get all the way across this uh, right here. That looks. Uh, there we go. Looks good enough for government work. And we have our rune smith. No, he gets. He gets this looks for the highest uh, bit of ground for our grudge thrower. A little bit farther forward, maybe. Actually, I think we're going to let's uh, check his fire angles. That'd be fine. Hope he can get those guys down there, too. Um, now, these gents. How do I want to do this? Uh, Miners. Miners with blasting charges. We're gonna keep them right here so they can throw their charges over. Over the, uh, the heads of these folks. We're gonna get them wide so they have a nice, uh, as wide as we can. So they have a, a wider uh, field of uh, throw there. Go. That guy. Gonna get this, these gents. And these guys don't have bombs, do they? Support specials. They don't. We have our Rombrin deal. Gonna put him right in the middle of these folks. Rumsmith right in the middle of these folks. And our iron brakes. Right in the middle. Nice. As wide as possible. That yes. guy's like just. How about that? I'm gonna move the other guys down a little bit farther so everybody has a, a little bit extra support. Back these guys up into this, uh, this space right there. 
All right, looks like we got a uh, formation. We're gonna lock our guys in uh, formation there in and start this battle. And that uh, the sparkly stuff is uh, they're they're just happy, I guess. I, <laughs> I don't really know. I think uh, they're just pleased with being near the uh, the runes. Yes. All right. And the uh, battle commences. We're just going to completely wreck these guys, these goblins. The amount of firepower um, that I have here is just really, really silly. Almost already breaking these guys. These, these spearmen, uh, they're already, they're already wavering. They're not even going to make it close. Just broken. Run, Leo. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, goblins! Get back here! Ah, uh, that was good. Just abandon the battlefield, I believe. Should get some more coming in this way. Do you have the brimstone gun? Let's see if we have any uh, threats. Uh, we do have this one archer unit, or two archer units. And these Doom Diver Catapults. Alright, so the Doom Divers are going to be an issue um, that we are getting the, uh, the attack from here. So we have another uh, Goblin unit. Uh, you know, might as well use these, uh, these guys. You know, there's there's no arrows out here to... Or, no arrows. <laughs> there's no uh, missile infantry or, or units out here. Might as well just fly out these Crimson things that are going to completely... Uh, damage these guys the morale very pretty easily. I do want to get my uh, my grudge thrower attacking the Doom Diver Diver catapults because I don't want to uh, be taking that damage. And, yeah, there we go. Let's see if these uh, if these guys actually even make it to the uh, to the front. Ooh, bad positioning. Uh, <laughs> but look at that fire. There we go. Uh, yeah, bad positioning on this. Uh, did burn my guys a little bit. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Let's go ahead and fly uh, our guns out here. And let's see if we can... Uh, so our brimstone guns will go mess these guys up. We are hitting them a bit with our... Uh, stuff shaken discouraged by enemy um, we do have some reinforcements we have uh, some uh, air power coming in so that is nice and let's just go ahead and, uh, see those guys are gonna fire over again charge uh, you can't charge me <laughs> uh. So, not not great for our own units, but even worse for theirs, I think. Uh, just completely broke that charge up. We did take a lot of damage with this uh, Dwarf Warrior stuff. So that's not good. We're going to actually go find... These guys are getting shot up. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. These gents are getting wrecked by some trolls. Uh, so we're going to take them. They're gonna go get up into here. We're gonna collapse on these trolls. Collapse on the trolls. Also, we're gonna have our rune smith use his ability. Attack the trolls also. This troll snuck up on me. As trolls tend to do. And we're gonna have this guy attack there. And just to make sure we're not uh, missing anything else, these guys are gonna come kill that and we're going to get our uh, grudge thrower to attack these uh, these air these uh, arch ones. all right do it to it gents we're getting our uh, our iron drakes to safety they got a bit beat up we do have our uh, a big guy in there our coilers are getting wrecked now um, Deep, uh, <laughs> they're just 
blowing up the trolls and the quarrelers. It's it's all good. Um, the trolls are gonna break. But they don't they don't have good morale. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're just gonna be gone. Uh, I don't think I have control of any of the other guys though. Yeah, that's that should be enough to get those guys off the field. Yeah, see the back of the map is right there. The trolls are quick enough to really be a problem. fellows back up and yeah didn't really have to do too much uh, else I mean our, our quarrelers just uh, completely wrecking uh, the enemy units here Nobnell's back by it. we don't really even have to worry about uh, killing him and these reinforcements also completely wreck these uh, these guys our gyrocopters did pretty good ran them off the field Yep, nothing uh let's get over besides the crying and to uh try to get a bit more damage into it. Anyways, pretty good game. Uh, I did make a few mistakes. Our uh, Iron Drakes got a bit messed up, but hopefully I did lose. Hey, you know, I did not lose the Iron Drakes, they're just down to uh, not good enough battle. And let's go ahead. What we got? <laughs> Achievement, slaughter of the anything but innocent. Okay. All right, killing things. Not bad losses, 102. They lost uh, quite a bit uh, bit more. And if you see, look at their units. A lot of their units didn't even get any kills. <laughs> that is funny. Decent amount of loot gain. We are going to... Do I, want? I don't really want that uh, that's not very either uh, you know one turn for 444 gold yeah, that's fine. and regiment of renown unlocked grumbling guards long beards with great weapons <laughs> all long all long beards moan but none gripe and fight half as much as these ages old gets that's pretty funny. And Dragonback Slayers. These Slayers seek the ultimate blood sport, the greatest beast in their never, in their unending death drive. Slayers are for kind of an interesting backstory behind them. Disgraced uh, dwarfs that take an oath to uh, fight without any armor, be all crazy until they die. And Bush, and we get our Dragon Hell. So that's pretty cool. And we get a uh, another room. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, and we're back uh, here at Iron Rock. So that is all pretty cool. Got to do a battle. Got to knock out that quest battle. Do we have any other? We do have another one more quest. What? Uh, what do we got to do for this? Got to send a guy to the Karak Norn, the Gray Mountains. So uh, we do the have this will guy. Me to oh. you. He is a low level, so let's just uh, why close that. Let's go ahead and double check and see what uh, move any character to the following region. Karaknor. All right, let's go to Karaknor. Yeah, cool. You uh, go that way. Yeah. So he's what way is he going? He's gonna take a while. I can't really see. Uh, pass there, but uh, you have to kind of keep track of that a little bit. You can see it up here on the uh, the arm roll, armor, arm roll. Goodness, I am. It's been a long day. Didn't haven't slept a lot in the last couple weeks. <laughs> armor of grim real scales. I've been uh, messing up the old words on the regular for the past couple days. That's nothing. New, I want to get this upgraded. Two more turns. We do need to get our. Uh, Upgrade on this guy. Ancient. I can. Let's go ahead and get that. Don't want to uh, have inexperienced fellows. We do want the. Uh, all our units will start at rank three now, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can consolidate some of these guys. How can I help? Consolidate them down. That's one down. It's 56. No, I can't consolidate those. 
45. So we're going to have to kick some folks here. We're probably going to get rid of this 56 and that 45 to uh, recruit those two new units. That's not what I meant to click. And we're going to, even though they're a good unit, definitely want to get all the uh, regiments of renown we can get. What else is there? The Peak Gate Guard, the Uthar's Raiders, Nor Gremlings, Iron Breakers, that's cool. The Skolder Guard. Oh, the Iron Breaks. And Skyhammer, Gyro Bombers. That is pretty cool. Right, so we are going to move that guy right back up to full strength. And on to uh, turns. So in three turns, we're going to have our. Our upgrade uh, our technology to the holes of my ancestors. for uh, increasing the diplomacy. <laughs> Carrick Hearn declared war on me. All right. Um, so they, my friends like me. Nobody likes this guy, Carrick Hearn. All right. So call my allies to help. Yes, please. Right. Thanks, guy. <laughs> I don't know what the point of that was, but all right. Um, do need to get our Iron Drakes back uh, healed up before I go anywhere, but I don't really have to. It's just Black Crag. Look at that. Look at that income. Ooh. Income at Black Crag is twenty-two seventy-five. That's a bit silly. That makes me want to go take it right now. See if we can get this upgrade. Twelve turns for a population surplus. Oh, that takes two. Ew. All right, so that's going to be a while. Um, man, what do I do now? What do I do? Definitely get the uh, watch room there. One turn for a population surplus here that we can upgrade with. So, wait for that real quick. Did get a battle lens, so that's nice, and this guy is pumping those dwarfing legs all the way to the other side of the map. <laughs> Alright, so the uh, Empire conf made a confederation with Wizenland, so that's good for them. Grudge issued, uh, held. Yep. <laughs> brew house. A few casks, which still exist. But... Oh, the Groby took our brew. Man, don't take a dwarf's, dwarf's brew. So we have to defeat uh, three armies or garrisons for them, and we'll get 2,500 gold. Count me in. You had me at uh, beer and gold. How can I help? So let's go ahead and get... Uh... I mean, I want to I wanna go ahead and attack them. Uh, I'm not going to use Iron Jakes to really attack, but I'm kind of worried about it. They're just 13. They're supposed to be 24. They got smashed by those uh, dwarves pretty badly. And they're all, it's going to take them six turns to get Fearless them. and unbreakable. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, they're going to replenish that turn. And that's good. Let's go ahead and get this uh, turn in. Oh, what is? All here okay. are honored dwarf kin. Hello, dwarf friend. Military alliance. Who are you at war with? All greenskins. And we're defensive alliance. So, all right, except. War coordinate, please. Um, I want Black Crag, and I do want to try to get all my allies to go and for this Crooked Fang uh, fort, just to try to distract as many people as possible. Cool. Dwarf emissaries. Awesome. Ooh, what? Yeah. They took this. Okay, and these are it's neutral. Alright. 
Kind of surprised the uh, green skins have that, honestly. What do we have here? We can upgrade our stuff to a guard hall, this to a full size tannery, and we can get something else. Well, we can add, uh, add a tinker, that'd be 400 gold a turn. Um, take a while for that investment to come back, but I mean, that's like 10, 15 turns before you get your money back. So I think that's what we're gonna do. That was a, that was a pretty big uh, hit to our income we'll right there. And there's nobody here. I'm not gonna get replenishment on this guy. No. Enemy territory, no more replenishing. That's fine though. And this is being upgraded. Technology. Need to get some tech. Storage vault. No. Experience for quarrelers. So the next time I recruit an army, that would actually be pretty good. Uh, because my quarrelers would have the plus, plus three experience from uh, uh, the white dwarf. And plus two from this. So that I think is probably a pretty good option. Let's go ahead and uh, get to crack we're gonna we're gonna see him running a long ways for a long time. Greetings, honorable ally. Yes, my friend. They want military access, and they're gonna give me money. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I will be as friendly with the dwarfs as I can. Definitely don't have a problem with my yield. Uh, short-legged folk and it's kind of left me over here I'm waiting for the turn to be over because the uh, offsets it's not achieved on that Dobby turn Dobby forward alright so um, this being a provincial capital they have a lot of reinforcements we are going to add our runes and banner to these uh, leadership and melee attack. We're going to give that to the leadership is completely lost on uh, slayers because slayers don't break. Uh, leadership and grease on him and a melee attack on one of my better units. That's probably worth it. I think that is. Uh, these long beards are my best uh, best. The rest of our stuff are dwarf warriors, which is not bad, they're just not great. On them, and then we have that is just stuff that uh, we have right now, and the teaching thing is the bonus we have for the white dwarf right now. And how are we gonna break into this place? We are, uh... alright, so we get two towers. One battering ram, so we're gonna get uh, one battering ram. I never had a battering ram get destroyed yet, and we're going to get uh, six towers. So that's gonna take four turns. Um, labor force available. Turn to labor force. Uh, eight turns to live around supplies, and thirteen to live please surrender. So probably go ten turns uh, just to have them weakened. And that will actually probably be our last battle, unless uh, something else occurs for this playthrough, just to let you know. Give you the, the forewarning on it. Nine turns. Ugh. And our order is going down there. That's not great. And that look like looks like Azag. Welcome, Azog. friends of the Dowie. You know, our our uh, our dwarf and friends want to talk to us a lot. I am all right with that, and they want uh, military access and all that kind of fun stuff. I will cooperate with them as much as possible. The gray herd comes out of the forest to emerge, the horde beast. Um, all right, where nowhere near me. <laughs> I will allow it then. Alright, we get to upgrade our Runesmith, and we are going to give him cooldown for runes, that's nice, Ancestral Grudge, not too, mm. no, we want to get, uh, 
Rune of Wrath and Rook. We want that. So we're either going to go with Damping or we're going to go with Cooldown. I think Cooldown probably is the best option. Yeah, man, I'm starting to feel like uh, all sniffy and, uh, and allergy. So I mowed uh, yesterday and uh, that's been bothering me a little bit. Bagged up all the, uh, the clippings in my yard. I was trying to get up as much leaves as I could so my grass would grow in. Then I put down uh, some fertilizer and I put down weed and feed. Uh, so I put down some stuff there. Man, I think that's I got some in my nose, I think. Anywho, back to uh, Total War Warhammer. You this guy is making his way downtown. Uh, I think he's walking fast. I uh, am sorry for those song lyrics. Not too much to do. I think we're doing pretty good. I th I'm going to go to this diplomacy screen. See where we are. We have a lot of green. I uh, think, you know, they like me a lot. Uh, they don't, they hate me. Um, you know, Zufinbar. Carrick, Katrin. They are have basically the entire northern part. Um, sorry, my chair popped. I think I want to try to confederate with uh, with those dwarves. Um, it would allow me to trade with Karak Kadrin. And yeah, I think that probably be the best. Uh, yeah, me. Initiate diplomacy. Tis a great day. <laughs> Hello, good sir. All right. Um, success is low. Payments. Uh, offer payment. Let's see what they say about ten. Nine. Low. Ooh. Right, cancel that. Um, let's go with. Uh, Are you at war with anybody? No, you're nice. Military alliance. Moderate. Okay, moderate. Okay. Military alliance. I'm going to give you some money. Offer payment. Or it's going to be a bit less. Moderate still. Huh? Yay, there we go. Now we're friends. Alright. And... What did we, I thought we just worse. All right, so we're friends, military allies. We don't need to be defensive allies. But what about this now? No, not not so much. What? Uh, how are your feelings about me? Improving. Just have to probably wait a bit. I kind of want to know how much per turn. But that's fine. That's fine. War coordination. We don't need to do it. That's fine. Alright. And that opens up a trade possibility with uh, these next folk. How do they feel about me? They're improving too. And what can the Dowie do for you on this fine Let's get day? Some trade going, bro. Hi, yeah. <laughs> we want money. Alright, cool. Let's uh Can we become a mil no, you don't want to be. That's fine. That's not for us. And what else we have? So we're allies with them. They're cut off from us. Um, they're cut off from us. And they are at war with us. Trade with those guys now. And... Yeah, we can do a war coordination with them. So I think that'd probably be the best. I think... Uh, Probably best if they help uh, these dwarves defend or attack this area. Um, so we are all ready. There we go. Feel like we did some good work there. Uh, advancing the dwarven cause. The old greenskins. There we go. They are they are taken taken 
on those uh, dragon I am the High King. I will... There's a... <laughs> they want peace with me. Oh goodness, they're at war with all the dwarves. Um. <sighs> so I mean, they're. It. I don't even know if it's a point. It, for me to do this because if I do um, will the other guys be mad at me for accepting peace but they asked for it there we go hopefully that doesn't affect my uh, relationship with the other dudes technology research we got our increased uh, training recruiting surplus or war three turns Three turns doesn't really matter. Just in case we attack, maybe. Uh, superior black powder. Leadership. Leadership for dwarf infantry. That's nice. Miners, dwarf warriors. That's a nice one. I have a lot of dwarf warriors right now in miners. What else do we have? Recruitment cost. Plus 5% to trade agreements. That is a bit uh, kind of good thing now. 10% trade agreements. Yes, let's get that. Ooh, that takes a lot to get there. 19 turns. Nineteen turns to get that. Ten percent increase. Yep. Increase in money. It's an increase in power for the dwarves, I feel like. So. Yes. And we are. I'm moving. There we go. Objective complete. Treasury. So I was kind of seeing who was going to do it. These are dark days indeed. The foothills of the Grey Mountains swarm with groby beastmen. <laughs> white Dwarf needs to do some more, st more stuff. Using Grimrindal, the White Dwarf's army, defeat two armies of garrisons belonging to the following race. Greenskin traps. Already on it, bros. <laughs> we can get this. Uh, what are you? Is he, uh, he's a runesmith. Alright, cool. So we can get him into this army. Embed him. He will be on the long, long walk back. Get to upgrade our tinker shop. Let's see if we can buy anything else. Um, no. We do have the option. Got a lot of options in uh, the Dwarfen lands. Now we got the Gem Cutter Gem Cutter's Guild Hall. That's a nice bonus to our money. We get to uh, build a foundry. We get to gyrocopter. Gyrocopter, Iron Drakes, Iron Drakes, and Organ Gun. All right, so looking at this, uh, we are going to need this for the Organ Gun, Iron Drakes, and the Gyrocopter. So we're going to get to uh, add these two. Uh, I think we have enough money to do that. No, we don't. We need 6,300. We'll get that one uh, cooking, and we're going to add this one in uh, for flavor. Let's see, don't really need to need Runesmith. I have two of them. I feel like that's enough. All right, on to it. That took a lot of money. Man, our money is up to 3,600 a turn. I like it. Right, doing some, some good, uh, some good management of things and growing of the uh, Dwarfen Empire. And we are going to get our foundry uh, building. So we got uh, a lot of stuff going into uh, to here. Um, we do still have one more uh, one more item or one more area for construction it looks like. So kind of have to decide where we want to add that. Um, a hall of oaths, hammers that's going to require Hammers or iron breakers are going to require a Grimrail Forge. 
and we're already going with this uh, the engineer's workshop so that's not going to work out um, I think we will uh, get the throne hall of the high king I guess be the next thing to do hammers iron breakers uh, man that does unlock a lot of stuff though the armory does well uh, they, uh don't have the money so not a decision we need to make now <laughs> let's get let's check on this see how it's going uh all right four turns till the supplies run out build up a bit of money go on a spending spree when we have it i guess all right migration we like migrations because we could certainly take the uh, negative to our public order, especially early game. Um, chaos uh, is not very high at all. Chaos isn't even a factor right now, and we are 51 turns in. Kind of surprising um, that there's not more chaos going, honestly. But that's fine. And we get to uh, build something here. Another tinker. And that's all we're going to do there. Ooh, rebellion in 11 turns. Maybe I overestimated um, this guy out. To sit there. Oh, no, get in there. Alright, and that means we need to go over here. Maybe sit this unit and make sure he's still, still on his way. And he is. Let's go ahead and just being to come out right there. Right. And on we go. The unstoppable march of the dwarves. Alright. Not great. Okay. A shameful display. I don't want a negative with Karak Zool. Minus three public order. Two public orders uh, hits in a row, not good. Um, mm. Alright, we're gonna just take the public order hit. Not great, that uh, eight what? turns now. Shoulder so get him in there. We move. Five turns. Um, yeah, not, not good rates at all. Uh, public order's taking a hit there, so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, drinking hall built here and I'm a bit worried who are you where's Og, the great green prophet well he can just go fall down all right hopefully he doesn't interrupt our uh, business here two turns until they run out of supplies so four turns until I attack Saw some thing. I saw my money drop down. I didn't like it. We got some green skin units uh, moving through our allies' territory, and some friendly dwarves moving through here. A little friendly dwarf. Fa uh, Karak Azul. Well, that's not great. So what do we need? Melee attack increase. Um, in a few turns, we could definitely use that. Uh, protection. Don't need that right now. Um, teachings. Teaching is nice. I think we're going to go with the strength one just to uh, help with our attack. So melee defense, melee attack, and reload reduction. That is nice. It's going to be nice for him to take uh, that. Rise of the Thane. Alright, cool. And this guy ported in the right direction. Put him in there. And we have this is 13 turns now. Uh, we have a Thane now. We're gonna go ahead and send. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with the Thane. Do 
deploy hero. Inspire populace. Oh, okay, so he uh, ins makes people happier. We're going to go ahead and send him uh, to this province and deploy him then. Because that's where we need our uh, order. Sorry, my chair just popped there. I need, really need to get a, uh, a new chair. Man. Right, so, breaking even. Order is stabilizing. This is 148 turns. Not too worried about it. Um, this one is 7 turns. So we need to conquer this kind of earlier than I want. Alright. One turn until he uh, gets out of there. Our money just took a gigantic hit. Hmm. Okay. Erg. So for each army, your army upgre uh, upkeep uh, increases. That's not great. That is what it is. You have to deal with it. Alright, things are looking a little dicey. Um, just from seeing the amount of uh, green skin forces directly south of us, uh, it's not good. Public order and local province for that uh, for this guy up here. So that's actually nice. Um, that's a nice bonus for him. And they are out of supplies. Let's look at the garrison. Um, really show us. All right. Nope, they're still. They haven't taken any damage, taken any damage from, uh, from any of that right yet. So, but we get to upgrade. Let me upgrade. We get to upgrade Iron Rock here to full size. It's a full size place, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this guard hall and this iron smelter for the extra money. So we have that going for us. And we do have some allies coming through here. What do you want? Jin, and I do want to check on those dwarfs. Uh, Karak Azul. They're the folks that uh, were dead. They're gone. I could do a war target with uh, war coordination with Zufam. Um, I'm going to ask them to go after Crooked Fang again. So, can we get anybody to join us? Can we get them to join us now? Those are the folks. Come, come, kid. Let us feast and drink. Mm, 75. Improving. Very friendly. Add offer. Join Confederation. Success is high. Okay. Big moment in the... Uh, they're at war with the Greenskins and an undiscovered faction. So I'm probably going to have to mess with the Greenskin, um, the Redhorn tribe. I already have uh, good relations to the guys directly north of them. This is going to hurt my relationship with the rest of the dwarves for a bit. But we are going to offer that. Yes. The dwarves are expanding. Ah, <laughs> oh, that, that feels pretty cool. Um... Also, the dwarves directly above them. So, uh, you know, yeah, so we definitely need to go check and see what our situation is right now. Province is secured. Our money hasn't gone up, but if you look at the map over there, you can, uh, you can see Confederated. And we just uh, expanded a bit. So, what we get? We got, uh, we don't have Mount Gunbad. We do have Grom Peak, Zufenbar, and holy shnikes. Oh, yeah. All right. So, this entire province needs to go into anti-corruption. Yeah. Anti-corruption and public order, because that is what they're hurting on right now. Um, no wonder they wanted to join me. They're, they are in trouble. All right. So, to be get any armies, we're going to check to see if we got any armies. I don't think we got any armies. So, they they just uh, dumped a, a bit of crap on us. Um, 
That's fine. That's fine, though. So, let's see what we can build up here. Not much. They have uh, full stuff there. They need to build things to uh, fight this corruption. So, that's going to be the Slayer Shrine. We're going to build that here. And it's expensive, though. Um, yeah. So, what do we have? We have an arsenal. That's nice. But not at all what we need, really. Barley Field. We need public order. So, where do we need public order? This place. So they have a. And what do you have? You have a renowned brewery. That is nice. I don't need you to have this here. So this can be destroyed. I like that they have defenses. Uh, a tinker, not great. Oakenhammer. Um, I need the growth right now, so that's fine. And what can we get rid of here? They have the arsenal. I like, I don't really like the arsenal, but it is like the unique improvement you get here. Right, so we need to get whatever technologies that can boost our anti uh, anti corruption. Because I kind of didn't think about this, um, and I, when I say kinda, I didn't think about it at all. So what do we have? Uh, anti corruption. It's growth. All right, so I have seal stones, uh, Valais protection. And rat poison. <laughs> rat poison. <laughs> so really seal stones are the would be the best ones. Um, ancestral tombs also do it. Just trying to see what uh, what we can combat this with, because we definitely need to uh, do something as quick as possible. Emergency! All right, so nothing, uh, nothing down here gets us that. So I think uh, tombs, ancestral tombs, seal stones, and Valais protection does it. But that's a big one. These two are kind of let's. How far? How long does it take me to get here? Twenty turns and thirty-two. So twelve turns to get uh, one. Faction wide. Uh, and 20 more turns plus 32 more turns. That's a lot of stinking turns. Um, and we didn't get that, but that's fine. Whatever. And rat poison costs 10,000. I'll, I'll pay for rat poison. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we need to wait until the next turn to take care of that. They have no armies. All right, let's, uh, goodness, forces. Did they not have any? Fight. Wife dwarf. One rug. The of Valaya. Is that mine now? Okay, so that's, that's where their units were. All right, so time for a reckoning. You summoned me by the king's command. All right. Arcane winds Have them under going. control. So I All right, these gents we are going to get them no, we're gonna get them. Uh, axes, get them all to Iron Rock. Get everybody to Iron Rock. We're going to uh, take care of that force, and yeah, we don't have anything north 
Hopefully the uh, the vampires aren't feeling uh busy, so. I am gonna break down uh, a lot of that that force that's down there. I don't need most of it, and most of it is not uh, not good enough for me to keep. honorable ally. Hello, defensive alliance. Who are you at war with? Nobody. Yes. All right. Your conquests strike fear into the yes. hearts of your enemies, oh, sweet. mighty lord. The wisest amongst nice. them will know that fate is on <laughs> our side. Yes. I have All right, so we it. got a nice big uh, uh, increase in money there. So we that's 7,000 extra, plus a few of those objectives. Very nice. One dwarf hold at a time. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack. Ten different settlements. Get 6,000. Yes. We conquered all. All right. So, these guys. All right. Just need to, uh, to get them back. Ancestors. Divvy up their forces. I mean, I, I like... I don't like... Okay, so this guy has some decent stuff. Uh, the other guy has... Crap all as far as good things to keep. I mean, I don't need miners. I don't need untrained coralers. I will take the bolt throwers and the cannons, uh, definitely. Uh, the rest of them aren't, aren't worth keeping. For the wisdom and of Valea. Yes. So this is public order is stabilizing. And let's go up here. Uh, rebellion is just imminent as crap. And we're gonna build. We're gonna build the uh, Slayer Shrine. Ten thousand. Oh man, it just it just hurts me. It hurts me. We, we are gonna be able to get some Slayers though, and you know, fight the corruption. Really, that's kind of gonna be like the northern edge is gonna be like the the, the main area we're gonna need this. Um, so most of the large uh, capital cities um, up here will have a Slayer Shrine uh, just to, to head off any kind of stuff. Uh, now we get to put in a drinking hall so uh, to get the public order and it's uh, it's going down quick. It's not good. Six turns to order vault. Summon me if you dare. This place isn't doing very really well either. And I have a crap army there. So, things could be better. I am going to stop here because I have uh, this 50 minutes and plus the 12 minutes I did before. Uh, and immediately upon uh, starting the uh, next campaign, or the next... Uh, let's, let's see where it is at. If I can click the right button. Yeah, we are going to attack uh, this right at the very beginning of the next video. So come and see that. I'm going to continue to teach right now. And I'm about to save it. So taking Black Crag is next. And on to uh, this uh, Black Iron Mountain and eight, Karak Eight Peaks. A uh, really big uh, place in uh, dwarf and lore in uh, Warhammer. Anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.